I'm checking the tie book. Buckle, it's your favorite incoming high, 6.50 p.m. Please, Uncle Cosmo. Show me some more tricks. Take me fishing. Yeah, come on, Cosmos, take us fishing, will ya? Don't be such a hard guy today. We got our life jackets on and we're ready to go. Come on. All right. He says, let's look into his right eye and he'll put us on the Cosmos, boat. Cosmos, nice, nice job. Ooh, we got our life jackets on. Hello, everyone. I'm your host for this upcoming film short on the YouTube, number 75, Rod Building in which we're going to take a moment and show you how they make a custom fishing rod. And we then, with Charcoal's help, we'll be out on the waters of the Northwest catching ourselves what? What do you want to try to catch? A pink? A lot of small pinks out there. I know one thing. We'll just look into Cosmos' right eye, and he'll show us some of the tricks on building a rod. So here are the steps involved in building a fishing rod in this 75 YouTube film short. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the backbone of the fishing rod. For you that don't know what a backbone is, it's the part of the rod that gives it its strength. And when you find that, you mark it. Now here's a tip. At the top of that rod, you're going to take this eye, and they call it a tip, and you're going to line it up on your mark where the backbone is. That's important. You're then going to take the other half of the rod, since this is a two-piece, and you're going to mark that backbone area, and you're going to put an eye there. Now, it's real important that you make sure that everything lines up so that when you start adding the tape to the rod blank itself. Aha! All these eyes are in perfect lined up order and if you're smart you can get a diagram off the internet about the particular rod that you're trying to build and it will tell you the inches, centimeters on how far apart each guide is supposed to be placed on the rod. And when it's all done and said, wow, you have a 10-6 custom built rod, and look at this, it even has <laughs> my name on it with the trigger right here for my hand to hold on to, has the nice shark skin butt or real seat area here with the trigger, ah. and look at this, clear down at the end, we have a nice butt on it there, a rubber soft area. And we go back up towards the real seat again, and the trigger, ah, nice follow the line of the rod. And hey, when you get a fish on, you can really tell when the bite is going to happen because you actually can see it with the sensitivity of this rod. Before I let you youngsters go, I want to just make it really clear about affirmations of life. It really doesn't matter what kind of things that once you've established yourself in a lot of times have to design parts. Or you're someone that likes to work on a CNC machine behind a computer. You know, it's a fact that the way that they have judged the race of people with their intelligence is how accurate of a circle they can make. And with a computer and a CNC machine, <laughs> wow, what a combination. We're a pretty important race here, aren't we? <laughs> with what we can make. Until next time, remember, if you're going to start a career, build yourself a trade. Bye-bye.